Model Rocks 321 here, back at you with another video. Today I just want to talk about um, finishing, finishing rockets. I know I did one a while ago, masking off, finishing, priming, sealing, all that kind of stuff. Um, today I just want to talk mainly on masking tapes. Um, once you, you're ready to, you have the main body painted and you want to block off sections that you want painted. Um, the masking tapes I used to use for a long time were these. I was able to get some decent results with them, but those are a mistake in my opinion. Use Tamiya. Use Tamiya. The Japanese company make this um, this six millimeter masking tape. And this one comes in dispenser. I also have three millimeter. They have other sizes and other products. They make a lot of stuff. They're in hobby shops. I've been seeing them for years. Matter of fact, this this was a five ninety nine for this um, three millimeter. This is still sealed. I didn't need, I didn't need it for this project. I don't know how much this bigger one was. Oh, this was 470. Actually, this is cheaper. This one, um, this six millimeter was cheaper. So 470, which is not a bad price, and it comes in a dispenser. Um, really good, good stuff. You get a super clean line. Like I um masked off my far side. That's the other thing I want to show you guys. The far side three stage rocket. There, the other set of fins down there. These come off, but it really um just a crisp, sharp line. I don't know if you can see that or not. That is a nice, clean line. So I will be using um I will be using this and I even did the fluorescent, it just came out great. It came out great. So I will be using uh Tamiya in the future. From this point forward, I mean this stuff I'm probably pretty much done with this. I'll use this for other stuff, but when it comes to masking off the fins and stuff like that, I'm gonna be going with that. As you can see, this is not pulled off yet. I still have uh tape here. I can pull that off right now for you guys, but I'll do that right here. So I usually take an X-Acto and just, you know, go under the edge. It's dried overnight, so it should be fine. Um, so go to the edge like so. Then just slowly pull. Slowly pull. So there's a nice, that's a sharp line. I'm like super impressed with it. I cannot believe I haven't been using it. I would always see it, but I always just stuck to the ones that I had. But now I'm finally glad that um, I'm using it now. Like I said, I would always get a decent, decent mass job because I'd make sure it would be pressed down and I'd layer my paint in little mist. So there we go, more sharp line. Beautiful, beautiful sharp line. That's, man, that is great. It's a good feeling like when those lines come out nice and sharp like that. That is like supreme. I'm, I'm super happy with that. Slightly crooked, but you know, I can live with it. I can live with it in the black also. It's nice. And this is just another method I use. I use clothes hangers, wire clothes hangers. And I'll just get some paper and something similarly that matches the BT20 or whatever and put it in the inside. Make sure it's tight. You don't want it to fall off. Cover, protect the uh, engine sections with paper and tape. This type of tape. Use this for like junk stuff like that. Don't use it for the, the masking. So that's, um, yeah, so this is the bottom fin section. Actually, I can, I'm going to take it all apart. So this, um, yeah, I masked off this section. Just wanted to show you around, around the payload. That was masked off with the same six millimeter tape. Came out lovely. So we will go here. Now we'll be getting back out and launching soon. Should be another launch video coming up. The weather's getting really good here. We launched in Arizona. Like I always say, the winters are great. Like, so it's gonna get kind of chilly in the early mornings, but um, there's gonna be some launches coming up. And here is Saturn 1 SA5 you've seen. There's videos on this. I have to get this back out and fly it again. Beautiful, came out great. This I was not using Tamiya, but I was able to get a decent line with it. And I was able had, had to go back and do some touch up. But overall, it came out great. Most of this was just um, painting individual tubes anyway, before you even glue them in. So this is the Saturn 1 SA5, which I love. Had a couple crashes, but nothing too bad. I'm gonna get it back out on a, on a regular engine because I was trying to go with a bigger engine and it just throws it out of whack. Um, so um far center of gravity and stuff like that, but I will fly that on a D12-3 in the next couple of weeks or so. I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. But I do want to get this three stager out. <clears throat> but like I said, um, this is about masking, finishing, and unpriming. Like once you get your, if you got wood fins, it's up to you. I typically fill all the wood grain, get them nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Yeah. So that was on there like that. And make sure these hooks, whenever you. Uh, or spray painting your fins and stuff. Make sure it's on there secure. You don't want it to fall off while painting. I've had I've had that happen. I've had it all happen over the years. 
All right, so let me get this. I think this was an engine. I think I used an engine. Um, this is an engine. So for this, to cover up this part, I used like an engine and just make sure I had it in there secure, as you can see. Like I said, this is the other junk tape, like which I'm calling junk now. It's like the, the classic masking tape. I've used the blue masking tape because I thought you would get a finer line over the years. And um, it's all, it don't compare to, um, so there we go. So that's a nice clean, nice clean section. And these are actually the bottom thins, so they will go, how I want to place these. Maybe I'll go this way, put this one, there we go. So these fins will go here. And there you have it, full stack. Three stages, far side, like cool, cool rocket classic. SD's kit from way back in the day. This is the reproduction. Um, this is the reproduction one, which is the Semrock. Semrock reissued it some years ago. I think you can still find those there. They're good, good rocket. Just have a lot of space and have somebody to spot for you because this rocket will go. It will go. So it's going to be three stages. So this will pop off. Bottom will pop off. I have to definitely go back and make sure it falls off um, smoothly. That'll pop off and it'll send it up higher. Then this will pop off once you stages and it'll keep going. And your payload and your parachute will pop out of here, which I haven't attached a parachute or anything yet. But overall, a great build, great rocket. I love the way it looks. I love fluorescence, like remind me of the old sounding rockets and stuff. They would use a lot of the brights, so you can see them. And then you got your roll, like the roll pattern, so you can see what it's doing while in the air. So just a great rocket. Again, this six millimeter tape, highly recommend. Use this stuff for, you know, covering, using the plastic, like when you're covering up the rocket, sealing off plastic and stuff like this, but use the Tamiya stuff for um, masking off fins and everything. That sharp edge, when you need a sharp edge, um, this is the stuff. Um, I might actually go get more. <laughs> I'm gonna go get more just because, you know, I don't know if you know about the shipping crisis stuff may get tighter, like, hard to get especially that's coming from Japan so like I said shipping crisis look at what's going on even balsa wood was hard to get it may still be hard to get I'm not sure but yeah just um keep that in mind if you're a hobbyer so here we go fins again went really great I'm happy with this build I just want to put it all back together now like it's super cool rock I love it I love it so looks good looks good so do that there I'll throw that's like the colors are kind of and then with this one you just can't cover up the you got to make sure the launch lug um has room I'll go here like so make sure the launch lug has you know space and it's free like that and the launch lugs whenever you paint launch lugs put paper in the inside roll up a piece slide it in the inside of the tube just measure it whatever the length of that is roll up a piece of paper this is still actually inside of this one so just make sure you do that a nice clean hole like I, all that was masked off that's why there's no paint inside there these are just tips like if you're a beginner or whatever veterans you guys know then this mask went well man it's like i cannot believe how sharp that line is that is just great that's great so i'm never going back on <laughs> tammy a masking tape full stack of colorful fins as you can see back there on the wall sim rock um poster or picture is hanging that's the card a little bad card and Saturn 1 SA5. Well, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button so we can, you know, get an algorithm better. Follow me on Instagram also if you haven't already, Model Rocks 321. I try to post, you know, throughout the week. You know, sometimes they're old photos and just try to keep the Model Rocketry thing going. I like it because you get, you know, you get outside, you know, get you out in the air. It's fun. Had some crazy <laughs> crashes and stuff lately, which I don't enjoy, but, you know, it's part of it when you're trying experimental stuff. So I have fun with it. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Check the links below. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Also, share it with a friend. Um, if they're into it or not into it, just, hey, check this out. Give this guy a, give this guy a watch and a thumb up. All right, you guys. Catch you on another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.